Hey there everybody, my name is Paul, I'm from Germany. You might have already noticed my German accent. Anyway, on this channel I'm focusing on tech reviews as well as filmmaking. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribe. In today's video, I'm gonna continue with my filmmaking basics course. In the last video I was talking about ISO, before about aperture, and today we are talking about the shutter speed. If you missed the other episodes, no problem. I have a info sheet or however it's called right here, or you can also check in the description or also in my channel, however you want. So today we are talking about shutter speed. What is shutter speed? So shutter speed is a unit which describes for how long light hits your sensor. The longer light hits your sensor, the brighter gets your image. The shorter light hits your sensor, the darker gets your image. And it's basically described in numbers. So for example, a third of a second is a pretty long exposure or pretty long shutter speed, which means your image gets really bright. And for example, uh, three thousandths of a second is a pretty short shutter speed, which means your image gets really dark. But also like aperture or ISO, also shutter speed has an additional effect to our image. So the longer the shutter speed, um, you will have more motion blur. So everything in, uh, in, the, in the video looks like blurry and the shorter your shutter speed, everything looks really super sharp and super jittery. And therefore in filmmaking, we have the 180 degree shutter rule. 180 degree shutter rule basically means your shutter should always be double your frame rate. This means that you have the most natural amount of motion blur. So for example, I'm filming right now in 24 frames per second. I have a 50 of a shutter speed. So that means I have a little of amount of motion blur and that was how all cinema films was, were recorded. So therefore it looks very normal to our eye. But you can also break this rule if you want, no problem. So for example, if you want to go for a really intense look, then you should raise your shutter to a shorter shutter speed. For example, save private James Ryan, the entrance uh, setting when they were at the beach was shot an insanely high shutter speed. So on the other hand, if you remember the Bourne identity when he's remembering who he was earlier, that scene were mainly shot in, I guess, a 20th of a second. So you have really, really high amount of motion blur and everything looks uh, dreamy. But I, I would always recommend you to shoot double your frame rate, so 24 frames per second in a 50 of a shutter speed, and if you film in 60 frames per second, 125 of a second. So short recap, the longer your shutter speed, the brighter your image gets, and the more motion blur is introduced into our image, and then it looks totally unnatural. The shorter your shutter speed is, the darker gets your image, but it looks also way more sharper and totally jittery and you have no amount of motion blur, which also looks totally unnatural. So I recommend you to follow the 180 degree shutter rule. So always the shutter set to double your frame rate. So that was my course about the shutter speed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel and I see you in my very next video. Cheers!